Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Bro, hope you're doing well. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how we can install and set up Scene Builder for JavaFX. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. If you find this video helpful, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Your support will help keep this channel running. Oh yeah, are you ready for this? In this video, I'm gonna be demonstrating how we can download and install Scene Builder for JavaFX. This will be for both Eclipse and IntelliJ. Be sure to look in the description for any timestamps. Now, the first step is to go to the internets and look this up. JavaFX, Scene Builder, and then go to this website, glueonhq.com. Oracle does have Scene Builder, but it's not up to date, so I would not recommend going to that site. So let's go to glueonhq.com. Then go to Download Now and select whatever version you want. I'm going to download the most recent version, in this case it is 15, and select the appropriate download for your operating system. I'm running Windows, so I'm going to download the Windows version. And then wait like a million years. And it's done. So once this is finished downloading, you can open up this bad boy and finish the installation process. Eh. Eh. I accept the terms in this license agreement. Yes, I actually did read it that fast. And click install. And then wait like another million years. And then click finish. All right, let's move on. You'll want to remember the location of where this scene builder executable application is. For me, it's within my C drive program files within the scene builder folder. And I would like to remember this location because it's going to be relevant later, scenebuilder.exe. For the next part of this video, I'm going to walk you through how we can set up Scene Builder for Eclipse. If you're using IntelliJ, look in the description for any timestamps because I will walk you through IntelliJ as well. So if you're using Eclipse, we're ready to begin. Let's move on to step one. We need to create a new FXML file. To do that, right click on your project folder, then go to New, Other, New FXML document. Next, come up with a name for this file. I'm going to name this main and finish. Step two is to link the scene builder executable. To do that, go to Window, Preferences, JavaFX, and then browse for that location for the scene builder executable file. So you can go to Browse and then take a look for it. For me, this is within the C drive, Program Files, Scene Builder and then look for scenebuilder.exe. Open, apply, then apply and close. Step three is to open Scene Builder, and to do that, right click on your FXML file, then go to open with Scene Builder. And now we are within the Scene Builder GUI application. Now, if I may direct your attention to the left-hand side, we have a library that contains various drop-down menus that have all sorts of different things. There are various containers, controls, nodes, menu items, shapes, charts, and 3D effects. So feel free to take a moment to browse through these menus for anything that you might find interesting. And below our library is a hierarchy of different containers and nodes that we can add to our container. By default, you may have an anchor pane, and for whatever reason, it doesn't like to appear when you start up Scene Builder. So an easy fix for that is to just go to containers and then add your pane that you would like. I would recommend adding the anchor pane to begin with, and then just drag this to our work surface. And now we have a pane that we can reshape and add different nodes to. So let's add some nodes. What about buttons? But you can pick something different if you want. Click on a node that you want and then drag it and drop it wherever you want. So I'll just add a whole bunch of buttons for no reason. You get a button, you get a button, everybody gets a button. Okay, I would say that I'm fairly satisfied with this. To save your project, go to File, Save. And once your file is saved, you can close out of Scene Builder and let's head back to Eclipse. Now we are on the last step. We need to add one line of code to our start method. So replace this line that contains our root node because we're going to create a root node based on our FXML file. So add this line of code if this is not here already. Parent root equals FXML loader dot load. And within this method here, we have a few things to add. Get class dot get 
resource, and the resource that we're going to get is the name of our fxml file. So within quotes, main.fxml. And then I am just missing that semicolon at the end. All right, you may need to add any necessary imports, so be sure to do that as well. So I need to import parent and fxml loader. Now, if you were to run this the way it is, you may run into a null pointer exception, location is required. That's because our fxml file is located outside of our application package. There are two different fixes to this. One, when we name our resource, we could precede this with a forward slash so that we know to look outside of our application package. And this should work. Or what you could do is delete that forward slash and take your fxml file and drag it to your application package. And this would work as well, just like that. Now you may have noticed that the size of the window does not display the entire scene. That's because you may have some dimensions passed in as arguments to the scene constructor. So if you were to delete those and only pass in our root node, well then you should be able to see the entire scene. Just like that. Well, everybody, that is how to set up Scene Builder for Eclipse. For part two, we're going to set up Scene Builder for IntelliJ. All right, part two of this video, I'm going to demonstrate how we can set up JavaFX Scene Builder for IntelliJ. I have a fresh new project, so the first thing that I'm going to do is link Scene Builder to IntelliJ. And to do that, go to File, then Settings, right here. Go to Languages and Frameworks. Java FX, and then find the path to your scene builder exe. So for me, that is located within the C drive, program files, scene builder, scene builder.exe. And you can always open this folder to browse for it. So once you have that, click apply, then okay. Step two is to open scene builder. And to do that, navigate to your fxml file. And that for me is located within my source folder. So I'm going to right click on this, then open in scene builder. All right, we are now within scene builder. If you look to the left, we have a library with a bunch of drop down menus. We have different components for containers, controls, nodes, menu items, shapes, charts, and 3D effects. And on the bottom here, we have a hierarchy of all of our different items that we have. Now to begin, I'm just going to delete this grid pane because I wouldn't recommend that for beginners. Let's create an anchor pane. So go to containers and then drag and drop your anchor pane to your workspace here. And then you can reshape this. Let's make it a square. Now you can navigate through these drop down menus and drag and drop any nodes that you might like. Let's add a bunch of buttons for no apparent reason. So you just click on it, then drag it, then drop it wherever you want. Once you're satisfied with whatever monstrosity that you built, it's time to save it. So to save this file, go to file, then save. And that's how to save it. And now we can close out of scene builder and head back to IntelliJ. Now within your start method, make sure you have this line of code. This is to create the root node, and this is linked to our fxml file that we used with scene builder. So make sure you have this line, parent root equals fxml loader dot load within the load method, add get class, get resource, and the resource should have the same name as your fxml file. And when you run this, this should display your scene that you created, but there is one catch to this. It's not displaying the entire scene, although you can resize it. So if you have some dimensions passed in to your scene constructor, you'll probably want to get rid of those. Now, if I were to run this again, only passing in the root node to our scene, this window should display the entire scene that we created. All right, it works. Well, everyone, that is how to download, install, and set up Scene Builder for JavaFX. If you would like a copy of all the steps, I will post those in the description and in the comment section down below. But yeah, that is how to set up Scene Builder for JavaFX. Hey you, yeah, I'm talking to you. If you learned something new, then help me help you in three easy steps by smashing that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.